Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to create a hex stamp of a file using the xxd command in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So a hex stamp is a hexadecimal view of data. So you may wish to use hexadecimal when debugging a program or to reverse engineer a program okay so for example many file formats have specific hex characters to denote their types okay so if you are trying to read a file using a program and for some reason it isn't loading correctly it may be that the file isn't the format you are expecting okay so I will show you that in just an example here so first of all here on my desktop as you can see I have a PNG file which is an image called emg.png file okay so I will try to use this built-in command xxd in order to see the hexadecimal view of that file so I will use xxd then my file name here so as you can see here so you can see here you can divide this output here into three columns so the first column actually is what we call line numbers but in hexadecimal view okay and the middle column contains the hexadecimal data and finally on the right there is another column that contains the character view of our file so remember I told you that some files have some specific hex character to denote their types and normally these characters are on the first line okay so let me clear that <clears throat> and I will use here the same command but I want just to display the first 10 lines so for, for that I will use the head command so the head command will display just the 10 first lines and in these lines normally the first one we have some specific characters that denote the type of our file so if I hit enter you can see here I have PNG so now I know exactly that this file is an image PNG Okay, so with the help of this hexadecimal built-in command, we can view the real type of a file. Because actually I can rename this file to PDF for example, but it's an image. Okay, so let's see another example, for example for PDF files. So I have here on my desktop a file called test.pdf and let's do the same. Let's open it using xxd command. Okay. And I want to view just the first 10 lines with the head command. And normally I can see here percentage and the PDF. So here I'm sure that my file is really the PDF. So you can see here with the help of this xxd command, I can view the type of any files, but I have to know actually this here characters, some specific characters because each file has some specific characters but on the net you can find a table that contains all the characters for the most famous format okay another thing i told you that the first column actually is the line number in hexadecimal but let's say that you don't want to start from the first line here which is zero zero you want for example to start in line uh, 70 so with xxt you can do that all you have to do is to type xxt then minus s for start and here you have 
to begin your hexadecimal lines with 0 then x then you provide actually the line number for example here 70 then our file name here we go and here you can see that we have started not from the beginning of the file but from the line 70 in hexadecimal format so in order to see that very clearly I will use also the head command here so you can see the difference so first of all without starting at line 70 in hexadecimal format okay and now using this option here minus s 0x for hexadecimal and 70 so you can see the difference they don't start from the same line here I start from number 0 and another command here start from number 70 okay you can also limit xxd output to a particular length for example I want just to see the first two lines so if you want to see just the first two lines there is an option for that I will type the same command here but first of all as always I only show the 10 lines and now to show just the first two lines I will use here the option minus L for length then I will provide the line number so the first time two lines and in line 10 so I will use here 0x then 10 and here we go actually I have only one line because the second line didn't show up so if I want the two lines here I have to provide 20 and here we go we have just the first two lines so we have limited the output of the xxd command okay also another option here but let me clear that and display as always the first 10 lines if you want to set the column length so let's say for example you want to produce fewer or more columns in output so for that we can use the option minus C so I'll use the same command but here I'm using the option minus C and I will specify the number of columns here so for example I want just four columns and here we go you can see that now I have only four columns in each byte okay one two three four okay so sometimes it's useful if you want to take control of your files actually okay let me clear that another option if you want also here we have hex damp but actually xxd can also produce a binary damp yes it's possible with option minus b for binary so the minus b command line option makes xd produce damp in binary digits so let's say that so I will add here just minus B and here we go you can see just some binaries 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 so this is the binary output for X X D command okay so you can see here that X X D command is very useful if you deal in hex or binary content but in most of the cases we use it in order to see some binary files and to reverse engineer it okay but in this video we have just discussed some basic options that xxd offers okay and of course you can always 
uh, see the main pages for more options and more examples okay so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye